Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day. So I've now started my new FTMO challenge. I had to get in before the end of the year to get the extra 10 days. So I've just placed a few trades today as well. But the main thing I want to talk about is I'm now using CTrader as my trading platform. I thought I'd give it a go because every prop firm has their own different uh, trading platforms. Some use MT4, some MT5, and obviously with FTMO, you have the option of MT4, MT5, and CTrader. Now, I've not used CTrader before, but I know a lot of people rave about it. I like a lot of features in there, so I thought I'd just give it a go. Now, one of the main reasons for using CTrader was just to give something new, try something a little bit fresh. It might invigorate my trading and just sort of unlock something I've been missing whilst trading on MetaTrader. Now, don't get me wrong, I think MetaTrader is fantastic, but it's been around for a very, very long time, and some of the interfaces could do a bit of a refresh, and I don't think they're going to update it anytime soon, if at all. So I thought I'd just try CTrader, have a look at some of the features, because if I go back to a long time ago in my trading history, I used to trade with IG. I really liked their platform. I liked how you can have uh, watch lists and how you can actually do the layout on the actual broker platform itself. Now, what I'm seeing in CTrader is very similar. It's great that I can actually have watch lists. Now, the reason why I like having just a watch list, let's say, for all the indices, if one of them moves, let's say the, the US 30 or the S&P 500, then the rest of the indices will move with them. And it's very easy in a watch list just to see that everything is green. Let's say we've got a percentage up across the board and it's the same percentage, we'll assume they're going to carry on tracking that same direction. And also we can see if we've got any divergence, let's just say the, the FTSE is down but the Dow is still up, we could be looking at a change around in later in the sessions, especially as the US comes on in the afternoon. Now with CTrader, it's really easy to create these watch lists and have them just in a panel and be able to see a very quick glance what they're doing, whether it's on Forex or whether it's on indices or on commodities. So one of the features I really like about CTrader is you can actually detach the chart from the actual main platform itself and have that running on a separate monitor. Now you can do similar things with a MetaTrader, but you can also run two instances of the platform to be able to have multiple things running on multiple screens. And it's just nice to be able to have the same window that you're looking at on a trade in a different time frame on a different monitor, but have all of the actual parameters for managing the trades on the other screen itself. Now I think one of the features really gonna help me out on CTrader is when you actually place a trade either at market or order, the actual management of the trade by setting the stop losses and take profit, as well as trade sizing, you can actually do it either by percentage or by pips. Now, it's really nice to be able to click that button at trade. One of the things I tend to get wrong a lot of times on MetaTrader is just sticking with the same lot size, just going in and saying, okay, buy or sell, and not always putting in the, the stop loss. Whereas here, it's gonna really focus on that discipline of actually putting the stop loss in and being easily able to calculate based on a percentage of the actual account. And when the trade's actually open, managing the trade is also a little bit easier that I can see. You can just double click on the trade itself. It brings up a nice little window with a little chart. You can actually very quickly move the parameters around. You can see by the percentage, by the pips, and really start to manage that trade a bit easier than you can on MetaTrader. So it's just little features there, very subtle, that I think will actually have a benefit in my trading going forward, especially within this next challenge. But one of the big downsides I've seen so far is actually how you actually size the actual trade. I'm so used with a MetaTrader, I'm sure everyone else is, the, the lots, and we very, very quickly become familiar with how many lots are equivalent to prices. So example, uh, one lot is equivalent to $10 on a Forex, one lot or contract on gold is $100, whereas on CTrader, it is slightly different. So when you actually put in the trade size you want, they say within contracts, and also that's typically within a pound or a dollar amount. So you're gonna have to kind of work that back into what lots would be. It's just getting familiar with the actual setting up of the trades. I've done a few rogue trades so far, just random there, just to see how it all plays out. So I'm hoping they'll come off, but if they don't, I'll take the losses. But again, as a learning experience, it really understands how to actually manage the trades and trade sizing on a different platform, because ultimately everything is different. It's just subtle differences there that could have an impact. Um, and I want to make sure I get it right before really, really going into the full-on trading in 2022. So let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on CTrader, or if you want to see more videos on actually how to 
uh, use the functionality and the features or comparisons between CTrader, MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5 or even TradingView. But yeah, thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you again next video. Cheers!